Hello. This is Andrew. And Melissa from, from Andrew, Andrew and Melissa, Melissa O. o. So in this video, we wanted to share with you our experiences that we've had at the Woodstock Fruit Festival and how that's impacted our lives. So if you want to see this, keep watching. Yes, so actually, I've been going to the Woodstock Fruit Festival since 2013. I went my first year as a paid attendee, and then I've actually been volunteering every year except 2017. So this was my fifth summer attending the Woodstock Fruit Festival. And for me, I um, had my first experience at the tail end of the 2014 14 Woodstock Fruit Festival when Melissa asked me to pick her up because she needed a ride. And so that was, I just got to go on like the last day and have some banana ice cream and cinnamon rolls or, or banana cinnamon rolls and just experience the bit of the taste of the mood that I got for that day. and, and since then, I've uh, this is my just my past my third year volunteering, um, and I have to say there's a lot of ways in which that we've gained so much value from attending this festival, even just as a volunteer. Um, all the there's so many events, there's so many active classes, and the food is all prepared for you. Um, by the kitchen team and the other teams and it's like surround, surrounding yourself by so many um, high energy positive people who also believe in eating healthy like raw plant-based low-fat food and so you already are connected with all these people who have that in common and I could just share that the, the highlight from this past festival for I think both of us was something that wasn't even on the schedule. This um, this guy named Greg, who I believe was just an attendee this past year, he um, organized this class on Wim Hof breathing. And I've I've wanted to incorporate meditation in breathing, conscious breathing, into my life for a while, but this class really opened me up to the potential of what that can do for you in terms of health, your stresses, and just, just um, I guess, opening yourself up more. And so I'll let Melissa share a little more. Well, I also just wanted to say, I mean, that was, that was a really great experience. But in addition to, I think actually next year, Greg did talk to Anne, and I'm... I think they're gonna actually put on the schedule the Wim Hof yeah. breathing, which is really, really awesome. So if you come next year, definitely look out for that and hopefully that will work out because I know Greg is actually in the process of going through his certification to be an instructor for the Wim Hof method, which is a pretty intense um, journey, at least from what he's ex explained to us. And below in the description, we'll put his tag for his Instagram so you can follow his journey if you are interested in learning more about that and what he's doing. But uh, besides that breathing class, which I think we both really, really needed during the festival, you get to meet so many like-minded people. If you're on the path of plant-based eating, whether you're raw or not in this moment, you get to meet a whole bunch of people who are either doing it currently or they have done it in the past and it's really helped them. And there's also so many lectures like Don Bennett is there. He has so much great information and Osborne has awesome information. There's all these fitness classes where you run. I know Grant Campbell was doing runs every single morning around the lake, which is really great. And he's an ultra marathoner, I believe. He's, he's really awesome, very cool guy. So there's just like so many awesome like-minded people who are just interested in being they're the healthiest they can be in this lifetime and um, avoiding chronic diseases, which a lot of people I feel are becoming more and more aware of because actually the number one killer in the U.S. is um, heart disease, um, I believe. So that's, you know, a lot of people suffer from that, like coronary heart disease and all this stuff like that. So anyway, um, so that's the number one killer. And, you know, a lot of people are being diagnosed with cancer and it has, I personally think, I mean, I think we both think that it has to do with like your lifestyle, not just what you're eating, how you're living. If you're living constantly in stress and fear and anxiety, that does not help your physical health. Physical manifestations can happen when you're just like anxious all the time and living in this fight or flight 
mode, which many of us are. And I feel like going to the fruit festival, it's one of the places where I always feel pretty at peace. This year, actually, I did have a little bit of stresses because I was dealing with some student loan stuff, you know, but I felt like being in that environment, I was able to deal with it a lot better and the breathing actually definitely helped for me, so. Yeah, I also just wanted to add that um, in a little bit you'll see some of the highlights from um, what it, it was like this year to be at the fruit festival, which is very similar to other years. <clears throat> but just in terms of the food, because I know a lot of people come because they love the food. <laughs> um, they, uh, they have sugar, fresh sugar cane juice in the morning. Yeah, it was great. And they have all kinds of, always watermelon. Yeah, other and melons. Miami fruit. Miami fruit was there and they brought yeah. so many exotic fruits that not many people were exposed to, like mame sapote. And they yeah. had, um, I think they, I think they brought cactus prickly pear. They did br bring all the sugar cane. I don't know, you can check out their website. We'll also put that in the description below. But Miami Fruit, they're doing great things, so check them out, definitely check them out. And also, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was no, just okay. excited. Um, <laughs> but we also had tons and tons of papaya from Martha's Best. Yeah. Honestly, if you are living in the States and you want to eat papaya, get it from Martha's Best. They do ship to people. I mean, we're not sponsored anything by any no. of these people, just so you know. But honestly, I've always like I really like papaya but when I try to get in the grocery store it's really like ugh, gross because when we were living in Costa Rica for a few months we would get the best huge papayas they were amazing from our friends Warren and Joanna yeah. they were so great but like um, Martha's best though they have I believe they're the strawberry papaya variety I want to I think that's what they're called but they're like the smaller ones and they're like more like this size. They're really good. They're super, super tasty. So check out their website. You know, we'll put that also in the description below. Um, anyway, sorry. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I, I agree with all of that. Yeah. And I was, and also, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so I was going to say, um, Ashley, um, Na Miss Naturally Ashley, you can follow her. We'll also put her tag for her Instagram in the link description below. But she made all the sauces this year. She was the sauce creator for all of the salads in the night. Like, Pretty much what the Woodstock Fruit Festival does, they'll do like fruit in the morning, usually a lot of melons. We had all the melons donated, which was amazing. That The farm was really great. Um, we can try to find out the name and put that in the description below too, but they do donated all of the watermelons and melons we had. I, we had some cantaloupe, but the watermelons were really great this year. And basically you have that for like breakfast and then they always have like dates and bananas and you can make a smoothie and they make smoothies. And it's really, really great. And for like the afternoon they have like some salad and also they were putting out more exotic fruits in the afternoon, which was really delicious. Like the mame sapotes were so good. I haven't actually had one that tasted this good yeah ever before. yeah so and they were from Miami fruit so check them out definitely yeah yeah I, I would just add like so you get the picture of the day and how it is to eat there um, that it's buffet pretty much all the time and pretty much all in all through the night too if you really wanted to come down in the middle of the night and get like some dates and bananas because you're really hungry mm -hmm. you can do that because some people you know are will experience a pretty intense transformation while they're there because they're not used to raw food. It's a very different feeling. So it's it's um, the festival is very supportive in that way that you you will never have ever any feelings that they're gonna run out of food. Yeah, you always have access to food at any point of the day. Like they have the main doors open where you have like the main meals, but they always have food on the side inside the dining hall where it's like they had some oranges or um, I had mangoes they had at some point they had also some really good mangoes like it was just it was it's really awesome if you've never been you should check it out um we'll put the just um the link in the description below for the Woodstock food festival because not only um you can start signing up now actually yeah i'm not sure they might have i don't know if they're having you might get a anymore, preferred rate um but if you sign up now versus know, later you probably yeah. you pretty much would because i think that happens every year if you yeah. sign up early then you get a better rate than yeah. if you sign up like a little before and also they do payment plans so yeah if, you don't have to have all the money issue, up front yeah, it's, it's like a thousand yeah. or a little over a thousand bucks to yeah. go so and they do payment plans which is really great so i yeah. think that the payment plan if you sign up now is like a little bit it's like almost 70 dollars a month or 67 dollars yeah. or something like that so check it out because like if this is something that you're interested in you know, if you're a plant-based eater or vegan and you live in a community where people are like, oh my God, you weirdo, like, what are you doing? You know, like, 
sometimes we feel like we're weirdos in our community <laughs> but that's not the point but it's just really nice to be with like-minded people where you don't have to explain yourself and don't yeah. have to explain why you don't want to eat animals whether it be for environmental reasons whether it be for animal welfare whether it be for your health like you don't have to ever explain that to anyone there which is really great and most of the questions people are like oh are you raw you know <laughs> you know and you don't have to like be raw to go there but it's a really good experience because it does open your mind to the possibility of actually eating raw throughout the year. For us, it's a little bit difficult. I don't do very well eating raw in the wintertime. And I'm sure I could probably do a little bit better of a job than I have been doing. But right now, it's just not for me. But mm -hmm. when the spring and summer comes around, there's all this fruit and abundance of fruit and vegetables. Oh my gosh, we eat so many raw fruits and vegetables. It's just like living in the Northeast, it's a little bit hard for me eating just completely raw. Yeah. Personally. Yeah, but. same here. I could just close by just saying that that genuinely from the heart I think from both of us at this point this is the single event that we have looked forward to like in terms of the entire year and what we are able to look forward to this is like the top thing yeah and we don't even say that because we're getting paid at all for saying that we just that comes from the heart because we really do think that highly about this festival so hopefully you enjoyed this informative video and, and learned a little bit more about the Woodstock Fruit Festival through it. And, and we hope to see you hope next see you year. There. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment and put any questions you have below in the comment box. And subscribe to our channel if you want to see updates yeah. of videos that we post. That really helps us out. Yeah, it does. So thank you so thank much for you. watching. Bye. Bye.